working on her today. Um, let's see how far we get. I may take the board off here so I can work on her face a little more directly. Or I may raise up the piece a little bit and so it's above me a little bit too. Anyway, let's get busy. Well, I was thinking of putting all these uh, elk teeth on her dress. But the more I think about it, the more costly that would be uh, end up being. Because everything would have undercuts and all that has to be molded around and it could be a real pain. So what I think I might do is... Um, these are elk teeth on this dress here, and it comes up a, around and across the yoke of her dress. I'm, I'm thinking about doing something like that, maybe having some brass discs sewn onto her dress as well. Um, just adds a nice flat uh, surface to the uh, piece. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do her hair. Well, anyway, all that will come as I work. It sounds like a guy down about two doors is revving up the engines of his uh, old cars. He's got a couple of 1930s antique cars in there. And they're built like hot rods and uh, really kind of cool.
I'm using here is a glyptic tool. I've got several of them. You get different size loops that you can put into them, and uh, I love them. And uh, got a whole collection of these uh, handles, and uh, and I've got some extra loops that I can use to uh, put these loops in. There's an Allen wrench screw in each one of these, and you can tighten down onto the uh, loop that you want to use at this time. And it's just a real handy tool because you can interchange or change out your uh, loops to use ones that you like to use. And uh, I like this one because it's short and I get the perfect little loop tool for just smoothing out and detailing the clay. You get these from Sculpture uh, Depot dot net. I'm going to uh, bring her sleeve around her arm and have it meet up with the uh, roll of clay that I got here. Use this to put a little crease in there. Trying to keep the creases rounded at the uh, where the clay joins uh, the dress, and the reason for that is so that the uh, clay won't uh, make a sharp crease. It'll make it hard for the mold to break loose. Fold detail here. And what I'll do is I'll fill in underneath the uh, sleeve so we don't have any deep undercuts. cut her arm off because uh, I want to do a, her arm with the hand and everything separate from her. And so I want to do that arm separate as well. I'm going to do the same thing with this arm here. 
think it would look a lot better if I do that. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second here. I'll put some big uh, brass con conch conchos. That's what I'm trying to think the word on her uh, belt. Much easier to do this with the arms off. Try to make them the same size. You keep shaping them until they look about the same size. I'm just throwing these in just to show you what I'm thinking of. <clears throat> Alright, it's got a good feel to it. Uh, it's kind of looking good from all angles right now. Um, I've got to work on the back part here a little bit and uh, over here and uh, you know, round it out a little bit. Give it uh, a uh, distinct separation from the background. Uh, I just threw these arms in. They're not going to be the final arms. I'll redo those tomorrow. Uh, but I just wanted to take a look at what progress I've made here. And uh, it's looking good. I, I took the arms off because... Uh, I couldn't get the uh, belt in the background without uh, taking the arms off. Now once I uh, put the, uh, uh, let's see, the, uh, see how am I going to do that? I'm going to do a line of beads going around like that and uh, across her chest like that and then up and around and down like that. I want to keep the uh, beads the same distance apart so I'm going to interesting. Not sure if I'm going to have full hair or braids. Braids will be very hard to cast so it'll probably have to be full hair and like I said I'm going to bring her chin out quite a bit more. But until I do that we'll just leave it the way it is right now. Take this tool here and just push in the cloth a little bit in places. Not cloth, but the material of the dress. I'll work on that tomorrow too. And then I'll also research uh, what stuff I'm going mean, to have hanging off of her belt, uh, like a maybe a little pouch uh, for sewing materials or whatever she might want to have. Uh, 
sure this would be an everyday dress with all the shells on it, but she would wear her uh, everyday items with it, I would think. Or at least show them off if she had a nice pouch or whatever. All right, everybody, uh, you guys have a great night, and I'll be back at this tomorrow. I'm going to have to fill in all this behind here, too, so that uh, mold and underneath. There's some deep cuts in here, so that's all got to be filled in for making the mold of it.